Welcome back. It's time for one of the most important maintenance procedures uh, for the Honda Transalp 750. I mean, uh, I've done so far uh, quite a lot. Uh, I have 9,200 kilometers. I've done quite a lot of maintenance uh, on this bike, mounted a lot of accessories. But the most important accessory which I'm going to mount on the bike, it's the air filter. I'm going to change the air filter for my bike. Uh, after 9,000 km, I think it will be very dirty considering the, the riding conditions, rain, off-road and quite a lot of uh, dust. So I'm expecting a very dirty air filter and instead I'm going to replace it with the KNN air filter. I paid for this one about 80 euros. It came in just five days from, from the original uh, website. So I'm looking forward. Of course, uh, we're gonna take step by step uh, this procedure because it's one of the most important. Uh, I think the Honda Transalp is one of the greatest bikes uh, I've ridden so far. One of the amazing adventure bikes. But it has a big flow, which is the uh, air filter positioning. So we will do our best. I'm here with my friend uh, Alami. Hi there. Hello. <laughs> Hello. And uh, I'm here with my friend Alami. We're doing, uh, we're gonna do our best to make it uh, as easiest as possible or as easy as possible because uh, this procedure is very important. I saw a couple of tutorials, but uh, somehow uh, they were quite long. They were not showing uh, what I was searching for, somehow a step by step or uh, an easy step, an easy way perhaps to get to the air filter. I have also the service manual. We're gonna take a look at the service manual before to see the official uh, way of changing the air filter from the service manual. And we're gonna do now our way in order to perhaps uh, save some time or get access easier to the air filter. So stick around because this is one of the most important videos regarding the maintenance of the Honda Transalp 750. All right, we have here the service manual. If you don't have the service manual, just let me know and I'll share a link from where you can download it. Here we have the uh, scheme and the detail instructions about how to lift or lower the fuel tank. We need to remove the side covers. Uh, right away, we're gonna show it how to do it. Then we have a fuel tank shelter, also presented on the page uh, 28. Here we have the instructions uh, on removing the seat. This is very simple. Then we need to remove the side cover A, as shown in the picture uh, below. We need to remove the seat, remove the socket bolts, release the bosses from the grommets and remove the side cover A, rearward to release the hooks. Then an important step is to remove the fuel tank shelter. This we, we remove it as you will see in the video. Remove the following side coals, matter panel, then the socket bolts and trim clips. Release the wires from the guides of the fuel tank shelter, release the hooks and remove the fuel tank shelter. This is the picture with the fuel tank and with the bolts from the upper side, from the rear, from the sides. We're gonna remove uh, most of them in order to lift it. There is also a strap in the front right part of the fuel tank. Now we've reached the air cleaner. Lift and support the fuel tank, turn the ignition switch off, disconnect the IAT sensor 2P connector and release the wire from the guide. And finally, we've reached to the air filter. We need to take out the air cleaner cover. There are nine bolts. We need to take out the air cleaner element and the rubber seals. There are five bolts which are holding the uh, air filter in place. You see also the uh, torque numbers. We start first by taking out the seat because uh, we need to take out the rear fenders in order to raise the tank. Okay. 
on the center of the petrol tank we have a hinge you can check it out over here and uh, the petrol tank uh, somehow rises up and supports uh, on this hinge and in order to uh, rise the fuel tank we need to take out the front fenders as well hopefully we can take them out without taking the crash bars but we don't know yet let's check it out or we make them loose in order to uh, rise up the rise up the fuel tank also this plastic this side plastic uh, make it loose the dashboard plastic uh, need to be removed in order to take out this one which is underneath it mm -hmm. this uh, side plastic is quite important it's important to take it out where are the connections in the back side this one you have to pull backwards in order to take it out ah, it has some clips you need to put uh, to you have three hooks three hooks uh, just to put it backwards yes. backwards and uh, take it out yeah yeah without taking out this one you cannot uh, mm -hmm. give access to rising the fuel tank we tried to take out the fenders uh, without taking out the crash bar but uh, it's not no way we're gonna loosen up the bolts and take out the crash bar in order to uh, remove the fenders. It's much easier access to the bolts of the fuel tank. And after removing the right fender, check out the bolt, the bolt which is holding the fuel tank. It's uh, pretty hidden, to be honest. It's uh, this one. It's uh, hidden. Let me give you a wider picture. And after removing the engine, we're gonna have access to the fuel tank. <laughs> It's really a pain and Honda should realize that this is an adventure bike. From Alami's feedback, it was easier to take out the um, air filter from the Honda Hornet. So uh, <laughs> taking out the filter from the Honda Hornet, it's easier than taking out from the Honda Transalp. It's uh, not right. So uh, we're proceeding, we're moving forward. We also need to remove the left fender and the left crash bar to have access to the other bolt because there is a bolt also on the left side. So this is the procedure. If you want to change the air filter, this is the it. Second one. The second bolt. Yeah, it's here. I think this one it's uh, much visible, much more visible. After removing the engine. After removing the <laughs> engine, it's more visible. Yes. <laughs> There is a strap over there on the right side. The rear bolt, uh, we remove the rear bolt. We remove all the bolts, actually. And now check it out. There is a bolt underneath here. Just, I hope you can, uh, you can see it from this angle. I will uh, highlight it. So uh, left and right, another bolt which is holding this plastic, this plastic, uh, it's held by another bolt on each side. Basically, just to make it uh, long story short, you need to remove every plastic left and right side in order to loosen up the fuel tank. Otherwise, uh, you're not going to be able to lift it. Yeah, this is the bolt. Let me focus it just a second. All right, so this is it. Type of fix So what? Uh, what type of bolt is this one? Six millimeters uh, mm, it's Allen like key. Five. Five. Ah, oh, no, it's five. Five. Ah, oh, okay, five. A five millimeter Allen key. Mm -hmm. The positioning of these two last bolts uh, are very awkward. 
you need to take your time and your patience in order to remove them. These bolts which are holding the less plastics, the side plastics. We will struggle a little bit uh, when we have to put them back, but at least we know uh, where they are. And uh, somehow this is it. We lift the fuel tank, check it out. You can work uh, even with one person holding the fuel tank in order not to <laughs> take out every pipe, every connection out of it. About eight bolts are keeping the airbox uh, in place and underneath the airbox we have the air filter. I'm 100% sure that this air filter is uh, completely dirty considering the uh, roads I've been ridden, mud, off-road, sand, rain, deep water and so on. I'm, uh, I'm pretty curious to see. I have uh, 9200 kilometers about. I should have uh, inspected this air filter sooner, but considering the amount of work which is which uh, need to be made in order to have access to this uh, air filter. It's quite, quite a lot of work, but this is the procedure. We need to accept it. We cannot do nothing. I think there are more, th more than eight bolts. Oh, I think. Okay. All right, mm -hmm. the air filter. To be honest, from what I can see from here, it looks perfectly. I'm very surprised, but I need to check it out uh, more carefully. But at the first inspection, it looks uh, perfectly good. One more bolt. And this is the KNN filter. It has something else inside, some stickers. Yes, uh, this is a sticker that ah, you know, nice. usually you put here on the airbox. So if someone else works on your motorcycle, he should know that you have uh, uh, can, can Ah, okay, uh, okay, just filter. to see, just to notice uh, the... Um, that you have the sport one. The mechanic, which is working, yeah. And this is the KNN filter. It's a... Uh, has some grease on it, some oil, oil. special oil, yeah. Mm -hmm. Air filter oil, it's good. Yeah. And uh, from what I can see, it allows more air to come. You see the gaps between the stripes. And this is the KNN filter, air filter, which we've mounted. It looks uh, pretty amazing. It has uh, oil and uh, the bigger straps, bigger gaps between the straps, so to speak. And hopefully it will bring a uh, benefit in terms of uh, power, in terms of acceleration, and especially in terms of maintenance. If uh, I was able to ride uh, more than 9,000 kilometers with no major damage to the original filter, check it out. It looks uh, pretty good, pretty good considering the roads I've been ridden. So 9,200 kilometers with this one. Hopefully with this one from k and I, uh, I will be able to ride even more, more than 20,000, 30,000, who knows, depending on the road conditions. What you need to understand is that I've ridden exclusively outside the city. All my rides, they were 99% outside the city. So I was eliminating somehow the, all the dust or all everything which is coming from the city riding. So uh, yeah, I was riding off-road, but not much in the city. So uh, perhaps that helped on making the original air filter look like this. We put everything back and uh, let's close the operation. And of course uh, the sticker, very important just to let know uh, 
a mechanic that we have a Canon filter. Do not discard washable reusable air filter. KNM cotton air filter cleaning system. KNM filter use uh, will not void vehicle's warranty, so just keep that in mind. Now it's time to put back everything. Hopefully, uh, I look forward to see how the bike works. It's uh, now it has a new exhaust. A new air filter, uh, we've made a soft remap, so it should uh, make a completely another riding experience, which should have another riding experience and of course we are allowing the exhaust to uh, reach its maximum potential. Uh, how many horsepower do you think we gain? One, two horsepower maximum? No, more. more than two horsepower? More with, with the, uh with the software that we made last time, I think somewhere between 4 and 5 horsepower. Oh, only but from the software 4 <coughs> and 5 horsepower? Software, exhaust and now with the intake. So, so all together yeah, combined. Yeah, yes. So maximum 5 horsepower yes. with everything which we did. So we have 97 horsepower. We're reaching 100 horsepower for this bike, but what's most important is reliability. We haven't affected uh, in any way the reliability of the bike. Actually, we should have a lower fuel consumption right now. So in order to make a little bit your mission easier, someone can uh, hold up to the, uh, to the fuel tank I and someone should easier. work. Huh? What do you think? I think it's easier to take the whole thing out. It's easier. It's easier to yes. take everything out. Huh? Yes. yes. We thought, uh, okay, I'm uh, holding the, the fuel tank and Alami will work uh, much easier. But anyway, to have an easier job, better to take out uh, completely the fuel tank. This is our solution for the moment. I was able to film for you uh, also in this uh, in the same time I'm holding the the tank. I'm really happy that I made this uh, procedure. It was uh, one of the most complicated things to do by myself. I think uh, I had no chance to to make this by myself or if I will make it then uh, I think I probably uh, spend 5 or 6 hours. <laughs> So it's better to come to a specialized mechanic or to the Honda dealer in order to make... In order to have this maintenance procedure uh, done by a specialist, done by a professional mechanic, this is my recommendation. A lot of plastics, a lot of details in order to remove everything safely, especially if you have uh, crash bars, we need to take another look at the OEM uh, air filter after 9200 kilometers. I'm pretty satisfied about uh, how it looks considering the roads I've been ridden. As uh, you saw already on my channel, I've ridden off roads, uh, sand, dirt, uh, rain, dust, gravel. And uh, check it out after 9200 kilometers. A big impact on uh, the looks of the air filter had the fact that I didn't use it uh, in the city traffic. So I'm not using my bike uh, in the city traffic. Perhaps this is an important element. So the filter looks quite satisfying. I mean, uh, another 10,000 kilometers on this one uh, would not have been a problem. Alam is taking everything step by step. For example, when he mounted a bolt on the right side, he put on the left side the same bolt. He doesn't uh, complete one side. Yes. In this way, uh, he eliminates the eventual errors which can occur. So we started this procedure about 55 minutes ago. We took our time also to film, consider that. It was the first time when we did this procedure for the Honda Transalp. So I would say about an hour, less than an hour making this procedure by a very specialized technician. <laughs> but in this procedure we're speaking also about removing the crash bars. So if you're coming with a Transalp that doesn't have crash bars or tank guards, 
uh, the mission uh, will be a little bit easier. There is no way to make this procedure without taking out the crash bars, it's impossible. So you need to take out all the plastics from the front side, you saw already. So uh, you can calculate about maximum one hour of uh, work, continuous work with filming. This is the rear bolt which is uh, holding in place. I need to lift it, maybe I lift it and... Uh... <laughs> exactly. The job is uh, almost done. I look forward to ride the bike uh, with the new setup. And uh, now I can, uh, I can make some expectations regarding the lifetime of the air filter, but I have to repeat, uh, it, it depends quite a lot of your, of your riding conditions. I was expecting a much dirtier air filter, but this is the reality, guys. I'm not, uh, you saw it for yourself, so you need to somehow uh, check it. What do you think, 15,000? 15,000 will be uh, yes, somewhere something around 15,000. It's, it's important uh, to check the maintenance uh, um, given from Honda and uh, to respect the maintenance because as you see, it's, it's true. Yeah, yeah. What they say in the maintenance uh, procedure and in the maintenance uh, numbers, they say 24,000, yes, yeah, yes. 24,000 in a normal riding conditions because yeah. they say uh, if you're riding more off-roads and rainy conditions, yeah. then you might uh, check it earlier. We have a fan, a subscriber, Hello. watching us. Meow, meow. So uh, the job is done, thanks to my friend uh, Alami. Thank you very much, okay. man. Uh, what do you think about this, uh, this procedure of uh, the air filter change on the Honda Transalp? Uh, it was quite a challenge, but it was yeah. what it was. Uh, what is your opinion as a professional uh, mechanic? It's not easy, but it's not hard. It's not complicated. If you know what to do, it's straightforward. You take yeah. everything out, you put it back in, and that's it. So usually, uh, if you are very, very good, you can spend less than an hour making this procedure. If you are, let's say, doing for the first time, you might use uh, one and a half, two hours, maybe, and perhaps you can risk to damage some pins or uh, broke some fenders. But uh, if you are used to taking out the fenders, it should not be a problem. It also depends on what accessories you have on your motorcycle, because if you have like uh, uh, crash bars or uh, protectors, yes. it will take more. Exactly. Mm -hmm. We had the uh, crash bars from Hepco and Becker. We need to remove it. Thanks again for watching and uh, I hope this video will help you and see you next time. You next Thanks, time. man. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.